Hey, it's John McBride from Arm US. I'm here with JT Von Lunen as well, president of Arm US. We're uh, hanging out with the Doosan team. So basically, all of everybody, all the guys from Doosan here, kind of brought out the DP and DS30 mm -hmm. yes. uh, test flying this week, right? So yes. if you, you've got tanks of hydrogen going on. So come on in here and let's take a look at this thing. We've already talked a little bit about the hydrogen stuff and the capability of it, you know, of what we're we're possibly going to do in the world of, of uh, increasing that that ability. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you think is going to be really game changing? Yeah, so uh, long flight time drone uh, is something that people always ask us for. So um, yeah, we can we can do much more thing if a drone can fly for two hours, uh, such as like search and rescue or. Uh, monitoring a long coastline or a, a rail, rail road or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, um, like think of us uh, giving you a solution of starting a new application using drone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So wait, I mean, we're talking like a huge amount of capability here. So mm -hmm. not just the flight time, but also the, the, the logistics of trying to get hydrogen into the industry right now. Yeah. I know that's mm -hmm. been very challenging as well mm -hmm. as just how do we get this stuff moving around? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's been a question that people ask mm -hmm. safety wise, you know, transporting wise, how much mm -hmm. does it cost? I mean, all these things are coming up. So mm -hmm. yeah, I know well, I've got a million questions for you all the time. <laughs> uh, and thank you again for, for coming and hanging out with us. But just to kind of see, you know, what is capable out there in the world of drone and uh, again JT just kind of uh, having us uh, you know hosting these guys and showing us a little bit about it so happy to see it yeah John um, real quick what we're working with uh, Dusan on is uh, you know we had a, a tough year with COVID last year things are opening up a little bit more and it's nice to finally uh, have the team visit us mm -hmm. uh, and so they've been able to put a Pixhawk in this uh, so now we have a, a drone that is um, able to meet some of the standards here in the United States and in Canada. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be working with Dusan to get this out. And if there, anyone's interested in using this as a demonstration product, we're able to do this uh, free of charge for the right people. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and just to get some uh, the usage out of it. So we need, we need some academia guys out there. We need it, some, some, some heavy hitters exactly, that are just doing John, some long duration the, type applications yes, as, as the, we had just talked You about. know, I think we, we're, we're finally finding solutions for this in a home. Uh, definitely innovation teams in academia looking for, you know, green power that's going to be, uh, you know, powering systems in the future. Also, uh, definitely the LiDAR market. Um, we've always gotten requests for longer flight times. This can carry 10 pounds for over two hours. Um, probably close to what did you guys say 13 14 pounds for at least an hour mm -hmm. um, so we're looking uh, it's very easy to put a lidar unit on you don't need to do any interfacing with the, the flight control systems and then also uh, we're working on a, uh, a longer range kind of surveillance type uh, with the works well virus mm -hmm. where we have a, a 10 or 30 times zoom with a thermal camera um, which could be used for either you know inspection or uh, you know long range uh, surveillance that mm -hmm. kind of stuff so um, like I said, all we, kinds of stuff. Well, all that, there, stuff. there's all kinds of applications, <laughs> but we want to be very focused on the solutions we're providing mm -hmm. that we see right now that this can be a plug and play solution. I know that this may look intimidating, um, but we've been able to, you know, get the tanks here that are actually DOT certified. It's very nice that they can ship via UPS, and if UPS is able to ship them, you know they're safe. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, I think that these guys have done a great job over the last year refining the products. Um, coming to market with something now that uh, you know there's alternatives uh, that are needed to carry heavy, heavy payloads here. So uh, I think we found one. Well, thanks guys for bringing right. this out to us. Absolutely, right. you know my man Tony. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> hey, so uh, definitely on our next tech tech connect video, we'll have some more showings of these payloads that we were talking about and the ability to kind of do these long duration flights. Thanks for hanging out.